Hey everyone, welcome to CEO Check-In. I am really excited about today because we're having a masterclass graduate on this CEO Check-In today as my guest. So, um, hey Denise, hey Rabia, and um, yeah, hi Bianca, hey Maddie, hi Cheryl. So today we're having a guest who's a masterclass grad she graduated a couple years ago and she used to be a correspondent on national television and then she reinvented herself for many of the same reasons we all reinvent ourselves we want more time with our families we want more freedom we want to make more control we want to make more money and have more control over the amount of money that we can make and cheryl for all those reasons created her own company where she is now advising small business owners about how to best use video. And I thought she would be such a great guest to have on right now because we are all trying to use video more. I started doing my lives during the quarantine and I've really been enjoying going live every week and I've seen that a lot of you have started using video more. We also know that video ranks higher than text in search. Welcome, and if you're just joining us, hi Anu, hi Elaine, um, this is CEO Check-In and today we are having on a guest, Cheryl Tan. I often do a mindset teaching here, but we're pressing pause on that, in part because we wanna have more room for our guests to share their wisdom with us and help you guys pivot your businesses, get back to making money. You know, this has been such a trying time because of the quarantine. And we also are now all spending, I hope, a lot of time on racial justice matters. We certainly are here at Million Dollar Women. So it's yet another reason to learn all of the best efficiency tricks and to know how to use video and to know how to ramp up your marketing because we all wanna have time to work on the causes we care about. And here at Million Dollar Women, we are starting to invest a lot of time into figuring out how we can be better allies for the Black Lives Matter movement how we can discuss race more in our community and kind of root out unconscious bias, figure out if there are different ways of operating that would feel more inclusive. All the things that the whole nation is addressing, we are addressing on a micro level in Million Dollar Women. So without further ado, and thank you for all of you who've been joining us for those conversations. We're having another one this Friday at noon. And if you want to know more about that, email Maddie, M-A-D-D-Y, at juliapim.com. We'll be talking about our scholarship program and inviting uh, feedback and suggestions and just consciousness raising from the entire Million Dollar Women community. It's going to be via Zoom. So I am so excited to bring on Cheryl, um, Cheryl Tan is here with us to talk about video as a small business owner. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, I was a little ahead of my internet. <laughs> here she comes. Hi, Cheryl. Hi. So nice to see you. How are you today? Thank you. It's so great to see you here. I'm so excited to be here. And I really, from the very beginning, when you started doing these CEO check-ins, I was just so impressed by you jumping in and doing it, even though you were not in your home, you, you had to go somewhere else because of the pandemic. And uh, this you. is what I Thank really you. love uh, when people that I work with and people that I know, they take the time to do this. Well, thank you. And you've been such a great resource to me. I know anytime I'm like, do I have the right light? Do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> you always answer my emails and I'm so grateful. <laughs> and I know you've helped a lot of women in our community. I know people reached out to you saying like, hey, how do I do this? I mean, let's be honest. I was a film major, right? And a filmmaker for many years. So I'm relatively comfortable with all this, but I get it that for a lot of women, it's like, what? Now I have to figure out video? Like I had, I could barely manage all the other things. So I'm so grateful you came on today and I love seeing you scale up your business and find ways to offer packages and raise your rates and all the things you've been doing over the last few years. So maybe you could just start by telling us a little bit about Cheryl Tan Media and how yeah. you work with business owners. And then I'd just love to hear like, what are you hearing from small business owners? Okay, so let's start with uh, Cheryl Tan Media. And in the very beginning, when I left TV news, I started in PR. And then live streaming happened, Blab and Periscope and Facebook Live. And then I realized that I could actually use what I'd learned in 20 years in television news to help people be more effective on camera. 
in my time in TV news, this is what I did, is I really worked to help my guests feel comfortable when I was hosting or if I was interviewing them. And this is one of those things that I was able to translate because now everyone has a platform. Everyone has a place where they can set up in their home office or outside in their yard, pull out their phone and really connect with their audience, whether it's one client, two client, or a room full of people across the country. And so now I work with corporate professionals, I work with experts, I work with entrepreneurs, and I teach them essentially what I've learned over years in the newsroom, behind the camera, in front of the camera, to help them create their own platform using video. And, and Cheryl, correct me if I'm wrong, but you used to do this in person, right? Originally, you were like, tell us a bit about that pivot, because so many women are making this pivot now. Oh, every, it's a bit about pivoting, hasn't it, for the last, um, last few months, certainly. So what I did before is I would team up with videographers, and we would actually go into an organization to create videos. And it was lucrative. It was great. It's, it's great. <laughs> it really is. Um, but it's very hands on. And it's not something that can happen as easily today. I'm sure that will come back. But as things were changing in my business and the way I wanted to work with people, and then the pandemic happened, I realized that I could help people create videos on their own um, by just talking them through the process, giving them some tips, some tweaks, some shortcuts, talking about equipment to help them create videos on their own. And that's been really rewarding. It's been really, really rewarding to do that. Well, and wouldn't you say that, first of all, that sounds awesome and I'm sure you're helping so many people, but wouldn't you also say that some of the pivots that we're all making, whether it's me starting to go live twice a week or you, you know, having a more virtual offering, these are probably things we needed to do anyway. Yes. Absolutely. Right? In a way. I mean, we, we resent it. We do. I, mean, I don't. I'm enjoying this. But I know some people are like, no, I really want to be back in person. But I think almost every entrepreneur I, I talk to also says, yeah, and it was kind of, oops, I just switched my thing. Um, Beautiful. And it was kind of, <laughs> it's my house. Um, but most people are saying, um, yeah, it's something I've, I've been talking about doing for so long. Yeah. So, of course, none of us wanted to have a pandemic and a quarantine to force us to join the 21st century. But here we are, right? And mm -hmm. you have been helping so many people do that. So what kind of questions are you getting? What are you hearing from small business owners right now? One, how do I start? Two, how do I get over my fear? And three, how can I avoid spending thousands of dollars on equipment? So those are like the top three. Those sound familiar. <laughs> those sound very yeah. familiar. I think I went through all those too. Yeah. Uh, so what do, you, what do you say to those people? Well, when people say, hey, how do I get over my fear of video? I'm just, I'm just really, really honest. The way to get over the fear of being on video is to be on video. And I know that that's one of those really trite answers. Um, and, and I don't mean it to be like that. But the first time you're on video is probably your worst and it gets better every time after that. But finding, um, maybe it's your best friend, maybe it's your spouse, maybe it's our community, but whatever you need to have to push yourself to create the video, you're, knowing your first yeah. one is probably gonna be the most uncomfortable you're feeling and get better from there, then you will have better luck in getting the results that you want. Yes. Um, and by and the way, so Cheryl, outside. your fans are writing in. Your fans are writing in, oh. as you can see on the screen. <laughs> Keiko, hi, Keiko. <laughs> I love oh. it. And you know, to support what you were just saying, I remember uh, Palak from our community, um, she love started her. making videos. She's so awesome. And you know, she's so articulate and beautiful. And you know, you would just think like, well, of course you want to make videos, but she was nervous about it, right? And she told me how helpful you were that just having that date with you and knowing that, you know, you were gonna be like, okay, we're gonna bang them out. You're making these four videos. And I think the first one she made, like they were like the big microphone in the thing. And I was like, maybe you don't need the big microphone in your face. And then she got rid of it. And you kind of have to just play around, right? And like find what works. <laughs> You, you have to, yes. and you know, I can't say unless you see it. So when people say, I'm, I don't wanna look badly, I, I wanna make sure I'm professional, that's all well and good. But if I can't actually see the final product, I don't know what level you're at to start with. And that's really scary. And I, I recognize how scary that is. I recognize how scary it is to put yourself in front of people to create a video and then put it out in the world. I recognize that. So. 
I created a framework to sort of uh, circumvent all of the questions you might have regarding your equipment and your messaging and how you shoot your videos and how you're supposed to publish them. So I try and get those questions oh, and answers. That must be such a huge person. relief to so many people to be able to get yeah. that from you. So can they like email you to, to be in touch with you? What's the best way to be in touch with you? Just absolutely. Um, feel, feel free. My, uh, you can find me here on Instagram. Um, you can email me at Cheryl at Cheryl Um, oh, and, so, I have a and we're not ending. We're not ending. I just thought, you know, oh. I want to make sure people know, yes, they can get access to some of this great wisdom. So we're going over the three questions. If you're just joining us, the three questions that Cheryl, who is an expert in helping small businesses use video, uh, said she often hears, which are, how do I start? Mm -hmm. How much is it going to cost? And what was that third one? How do I start? Um, how, how, do, so how do I get over my fear? How do I start? And then how can I avoid spending thousands of dollars in equipment? Um, the yes. how do I start part is, it, it's, it's actually a formula, right? It's really kind of a system. It's knowing who your audience is. So if, let's say, um, and this is a really good example. We have a lot of professional services probably in your community, right, Julia? I mean, you, you're such a great business consultant and you bring together so many business owners. So let's say you have, we have amazing services. You really do, yeah. like a lawyer, financial advisor. Um, and the very, the, the most important thing is really connecting with the customers you already have. So I think we always get caught up thinking about the millions of people who are on social media as your audience. And that's overwhelming. That's overwhelming to me. But the reality is if you are a financial advisor, you're a lawyer, you um, and you have so many different businesses in your community, but let's say you have an audience of people who are really your clients. Imagine just speaking to your clients on video. And that's what I do. So I imagine my favorite client on the other side of this camera and I'm speaking to this one person saying, hey, this is how we're doing business today. If you want to do business with me right now, or if you have a question about X, Y, or Z, here's how I can answer this right now. And it really is just having them see you. That is great your advice. Eyes, see your smile. See yeah. how you are really thinking in these tough times. Because I think it's tough for all of us. So if they can see that in your eyes on video, then it is more probable. And you know, we're breaking, you're breaking up a tiny bit and nothing to do with you, but just, you know, the internet gods are not totally cooperating. Um, so I'm just gonna reiterate a little bit what you said, which is that we wanna make videos where people feel like they can, sorry, Cheryl, I just removed you because it was like all garbled, but just come on back again. And I'll summarize while you do that. Um, so Cheryl was just saying the key to getting started on video is to imagine that you're talking to people who are already your clients, who already love you. Because if you start thinking of how do I appeal to all these millions of people who might watch my video, it's very overwhelming. And then to just think about one person, maybe your favorite client, maybe someone you love to hop on a call with, and imagine if you were talking to them and then try to find that tone when you're making your video. And here comes Cheryl back on to finish up her great helpful tips and comments. Um, she's coming on now. And make sure you have good internet connection, right? Because, hi, you're back. Um, I'm not able to hear you yet, but I'm hoping it's coming. This is just part of the fun of going live is you never know when the internet is not gonna cooperate. Um, but Cheryl has already shared such great wisdom about how to get started with video. And I would love to hear from women on this Instagram live. What are you working on? What are you struggling with? What are your questions about using video? There we go. Hi, Cheryl. It's like, yeah, it's still like all not cooperating. <laughs> Me neither, but we're going to see if there are questions. Hi, Dr. Stacy. Um, hey, Bianca. So people are going to write in their questions and if we can get Cheryl's answers, great. If not, I've been doing video for years. And as you all just learned, I'm a former filmmaker, so I can probably help a little bit with that too. Um, I also highly recommend having lighting that you're excited about. I think for me, starting to do video um, in the early days when I did a few years ago, it was all about having good lighting because 
boy, we just need good lighting, right? Especially the over 50s, right? 50 is the new 30, but, but still, <laughs> you want to have good lighting. Uh, Denise makes it look like way too amazing. Denise Hamilton, if you're still on here, she was just sharing that she's going to be 50 soon. I was like, girl, you look like 35. Um, but anyway, lighting is very important no matter how old you are because it also just looks more professional. And the second you put the light on, you just feel better. You feel like, oh, I'm on a film set. This is kind of fun. So I think those are some of the tips that Cheryl gives because I've heard her give those tips before, Mwah, Denise. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm sure Denise would have a lot of good comfortable. Oh, we have some questions coming in. Cheryl's gonna come back on and answer those. Um, and just really made everyone feel like they were in the room with her. And I think that's the beauty of video is that people can feel like they're in the room with you. So any recommendations for a reasonable microphone? So interestingly, I'm not using microphone right now. When I was going live on Facebook, I was using a professional microphone. Um, it's called Yeti, Y-E-T-I. It's about 100 bucks, easy to plug into your computer. But um, my iPhone microphone seems to be good enough. And oh, thanks, Bianca. She uses wireless Logitech headset, and the audio is super clear. Good to know, great tip. And Bianca runs Body Positive Bootcamp where she's training people across America and helping them stay fit during this time. You should check out her company. So she uses video every single day. Her whole company is running off of that right now. Um, Cheryl, can you hear me? Yes. Um, I think we're gonna have to, Cheryl, maybe we might have to resort to like the typing. Is there? Is there anything else that you want to share with the group? Maybe just type it in and then I will read it out. Um, can't always count on the internet to deliver when we want it to. Sometimes I don't know what to say when I'm live. How do you decide the content of your live stream? Well, I don't pre-think it too much in the sense that um, I feel like I like to just be natural on here. And if I have a guest, I certainly research them in advance and know how to introduce them. And I always try to think of if my community was here in the room, what questions would they ask? And I just try to channel that. In terms of topics, um, I had been doing a mindset teaching every live, and that was because it was also fun for me to pull out some of the things that I'm working on. I'm working on a book right now about mindset. so. That was one of the reasons I did that. And also in these trying times, I think we could all use a little more help bolstering mindset. But in your case, Bianca, I would imagine if you went live, you could like hear what people are struggling with in terms of keeping up their fitness routine at home. You know, twice a week I go live, I have a live session with my Pilates trainer and, you know, people might have questions about, you know, how do you choose between a live class or getting a trainer? What are the benefits, et cetera? Cheryl, you are back. Do you want to see if we can hear your, your volume? <coughs> Excuse me. She creates an outline for her videos. There you go. Yeah, not everybody is like off the cuff. <laughs> yes. Any? Oh, you're back. I am back. Am I back? Can you hear me? Yes. Maybe oh, just give us like some closing thoughts because I think, yeah, the internet's not totally cooperating, but if you give me some closing thoughts, we would love to hear them. Um, what I would say is um, the ultimate in terms of kind of when you feel like you've arrived, in my mind, um, once you've gotten past the equipment, which there's all kinds of equipment. And I put a couple, I have my microphone that I use on there. I use a Boya microphone. I'm not using it with this right now, but um, I use an ATR 2100 for my US, for my uh, laptop when I do my podcasting. Um, but the point is not to create videos that are seen by a million people. Now that would be a great result, but really it's to be able to feel comfortable if somebody says to you, hey Cheryl, would you like to be on my IG Live, my CEO check-in on Wednesday, and you not feel like you can't do it. And so that to me is the goal, is if you come to a place where somebody says to you, hey, can you, can you shoot this testimonial video for me? And you are like, absolutely, I'll, I'll shoot this over to you in an hour. And so that is the goal, and that's what you're doing as you're preparing the videos that you create for your own business, is that it helps you get ready for the next thing if somebody asks you to 
show up. You're able to do that with no problem. I love that. And that's so important now, right? Because everything's on video now. I was asked to speak Everything. on a couple of panels when we did the Million Dollar Women's Virtual Summit about how do you take a, you know, an offline event online. And you don't have a lot of control in those situations, right? Like you're not sure when they're going to call on you. And what if your internet doesn't work? Like it's great to have some practice, right? Doing this. Yes, 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 yes. And I'm, I'm sorry about the internet. And, and that's one of those things that we have to be able to roll with the punches. It's live TV. Totally. That's what we're doing right now. I, I you know and, what, it's not about being perfect. None of this is about being perfect. And I actually think that's the beauty of video is it forces you to let go because it's never going to be perfect, right? I'm pressed the wrong button at least once alive. <laughs> Show you my living room. <laughs> and now I know Keiko has the same cat tree. Wait here, look. The cat is in the cat tree now. Did you guys see that? How fun. <laughs> But I'm just saying, like, we're, I'm a little bit perfectionist. I'm a recovering perfectionist, right? So if you are a little bit that way, oops, that was my light. See, there was another moment. I kicked my light. Um, I think video gets you out of your head, right? Because it's like you can't be in control of it all. And you realize nobody wants you to be in control of it all, right? Who wants no. that right now? The world no. is in chaos. C control would be a fiction at this point. So I think this allows us to connect in a very real way warts and all, mistakes and all, right? Dark circles yeah. and all, even with my lighting. 100%, 100%. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> so, um, so Cheryl, any tips or resources you would want to share before we have to jump off? And thank you so much for making this time. No, absolutely. Um, so I'm actually creating a new series uh, to launch in the beginning of July um, to help people start with video and I, I think um, it will help and I'm creating it right now so oh, you're the perfect active. person to do that that's fantastic yes exactly and I you know I come across the same challenges that everyone else does sitting down to write scripts and actually sitting down to record so I'm gonna do everything that I teach my students to do which is write the scripts and batch the shoots and edit them all at once in order to um, just show you how it does work and, and so that's what I'll be talking about in this video series at the end of the month. Oh, so what sure, I there are a lot of people who are going to want to take part in that. And a lot of well, people are building online courses right now, too, yes. right? That's yes, that yes, popularity yes. of that is way up. So is this something people could use to help them figure out the video component of building an online Absolutely. course? Absolutely. Because Fantastic. it's using what you have and, you know, using the laptop you have, using the phone you have. Um, maybe getting a microphone, just like we talked about, but that is really a pretty inexpensive way to level up your videos. Yes. Um, and then you can, you use, can the use the box as a stand for the light. I do that all the time. <laughs> all <laughs> this the is time. my light. A couple of shoe boxes. You like? Do you I like use. the blue? The blue painter's tape. That's my own little personal touch. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get the filter to stay on, so I was like, I'll just, I'll just tape it. <laughs> I love, you need to take a pic, will you take a picture of that and send that to me? My because <laughs> it's how, yeah, it's how we're video hacking. We're video hacking it so we can use it for our own needs. And then, you know, one day you save up for that $600 camera or the $1,000 well, camera. You know what, I got this the day before I was leaving New York to go to Connecticut. I was like, I need it, like, I'm not bringing two of these to Connecticut. Right? I had to oh, leave no. my home within a day yeah. because of my, you know, my mother's in the high risk category. So I, I went out to yeah. Connecticut to make sure she was okay. And I was like, oh, yeah. I'm bringing two of those, you know? So I went and bought this little tiny thing. And, you know, that's what we got to do. I, and that's such a great term, video hacking. And you should trademark that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure somebody's used it already. But, but that could be that's what I'll call the series, though. Maybe that's what I'll call the series is video hacking. I think video that would be cool. I like that. Yes. Well, we'll certainly have a lot of women to send you. So uh, I want to keep hearing your updates on that, how it's coming along. And if people want to reach out to Cheryl to get more of this great wisdom that she has to share with everyone, you can go to her Instagram right here, or you can email her at Cheryl at CherylTanMedia.com. Did I get that right? Yeah, you got awesome. it right. Well, it's always a delight to see you. Thank you so much for joining us and for all of your help with my own video stuff. Um, thanks for always answering those emails. I'll never, you never know when the next one's coming in. <laughs> Here's I'm ready for them. Thank, Thank you. you so much for the chance to talk with you. My pleasure, Cheryl. I'll see you soon. Take care. Okay. Thanks for being with us. Bye. Bye. And uh, that was so fun to go live with Cheryl. I'm glad we got some of your questions answered. I'm just going to look and make sure that no one asked a question we didn't answer. Um, wireless, any recommendations for a reasonable microphone? We did that. 
Uh, no, I think we're all good. Okay, before we jump off, just a quick reminder that we are launching our cohort of masterclass right now. Um, Bianca's in it, who's on this call. Anu is a graduate. Keiko is a recent graduate. So if you know someone who is looking for help scaling up her business or who is not sure how to keep making money in this new normal, all of our women are making money getting back to business and finding ways to continue to scale despite the current challenging situation. So if you know someone who could use that help, send them our way. If maybe that's you, then feel free to reach out to us. Just email maddie at juliapim.com, M-A-D-D-Y at juliapim.com, and we can hop on a call and see if you're a fit for our group coaching program. All right, everyone, thanks for joining me today. Always great to see you. Stay safe, speak up, listen, get involved, a lot of work to do to repair the world right now. And I know that we are all trying to be the leaders we wish we had. So please continue to lead and show up and help make the world a little better than it is today because we need a lot of help. Um, I will see you on Monday and also see some of you on Friday at noon for the Million Dollar Women Community Meeting about scholarships and the Million Dollar Women Fund. Mwah! Have a great day. Bye everyone and go make a video. Go make it now while you're thinking of it.